Hello everyone, Alexander the Great here. Welcome back. We are in the old here at the Howling Peaks. And I'm still on the same recording session as the last two episodes. I'm going to cut out quite a bit. Uh, why am I here? Because I discovered that the roof of the world is actually where the end of the game. The roof of the world is where I'm supposed to be going. Location. I also uh, found over here, which I thought was where the thing was, but nothing. So, if I see a light in the freaking sky, I'm going to be really angry. If I see a sigil on the ground, I'm going to be slightly less angry. Okay, so I have to actually go to the Howling Peaks to find the, the thing to do this. Okay, well at least you've made more progress than we did with most of last episode, besides getting the second key fragment, the second block fragment, whatever the heck it is. It wasn't really fun. So it said it was in the caves of Howling so I have to find the gate of the house. Yes, go to the main island first. Like the one that's on the like marked on the map. Yeah. 
God, that was so much simpler to take, though. Can I do it like this? That far, I can, oh, I can already tell he's over there. <laughs> I can already see his tail. Who's green? I didn't get to meet the bear, though. I didn't make it to meet the bear. That's a deer. Still unsure if you're a bad guy. I mean, I don't think you are, but you could be. Yawning. Oh, I thought you were going to. Yes, I'm very cold. Don't freeze to death as other creatures before you. Thanks for the encouragement. Fox man, woman thing. Fox person? There you go. Well, no, that would be, that would be, like, actual. Um, gender fox. Yes, let's go with that. A gender fox. Alright, time to go to the roof of the world, baby. There's a frozen part of it. Don't get that reference. One, so much. I don't think, even if they get reference to the movie, but, uh, that's the fox. Like a deal. I don't know why I'm checking my mask or anything like that. But there's the light. Never have I ever wanted to see a light that so closely resembles a holy symbol of Christianity. It's so bad. I'm tired. Oh, I want to use. But recording comes first. So it's like. I know, I don't even know if I'm going to mention this, so basically this is three weeks. This episode is three weeks in advance. From when it's supposed to be, like, yeah. It's a giant bell. This bear likes bells, man. Alright. Loading screens is fun. Woo! Alright. Frozen fish. Head this way. I'm gonna head this way. I assume this is. You know what I just realized? But you guys probably couldn't hear me that entire time. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, it wasn't anything important, I made a couple of jokes, but other than that, you know, I was talking that entire time. But you know what, it's probably a good thing that I was that you guys couldn't hear me, but if you did, well, at least you heard me. But, um, yeah. 
So, I don't know if you heard anything. I'm going to assume you did. If you didn't, it wasn't important. Now. What is that? I don't want to know what that is. If you didn't hear me earlier, which I assume you didn't. Um, so, the last puzzle was easier than anything that I've done previously. Can you do it? Uh, what is... This thing? I don't get it. There's no right middle. So... Nope, oh, wrong one. <laughs> oh god. Um, okay, so... So, this one? Then... This one? Oh crap. I don't know why I keep falling down. So... Jumps the one in front of it. Okay, well, I could jump the one in front of it. Okay. So, bang. Bang. Badonka? There we go. What that? What did that do? I assumed to open that door. That was fairly simple. <laughs> the entrance gate is frozen shut. Evidently, you died. Or left. One of the two. It doesn't matter. You're not here. That's all that matters. Uh. Okay. No. This does what? I see, it activates the pillar. So, the next one. So, I imagine the next pillar will hit or this thing. The next sigil will hit to the other. Stop putting the lantern away! What is this? Is this like a, tra is this like a data transfer? Is this how data transfers work? Oh, you... Alrighty. You know, whoever designed this, you honestly could have just put the stairs in. It would be a lot easier. Looks like... Incredibly painful. Uh, well, I can't go this way. I, I assume I jumped through this? This one. I think one must go back. It's like the most annoying thing in any game I play is backtracking. Just so you can progress the story. And the worst part about it is, if I don't have to backtrack and there is a secret entrance, then I just ran back here for nothing. But I assume... That's new. Um... way. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing and it really hurts because like 
Um, like, I'm already out of it in general, but I really want to get this game done. Wait, that was right. So, that was the front, then. This one. This one. No. No. So is the one on the this one back here? No, it had it locked in. There you go, and now we go to the front one. Right? And we go to this one. There we go. Got it. Figured it out. And going sigil puzzles are really fun to solve when you're exceptionally tired of solving sigil puzzles. Uh, okay, this way is where that thing was going, but, unless there's nothing to know. Hmm, I don't know what to do. There was a reason for me doing that thing, right? What is this? Oh, I found it. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Making something. Power tank is on. So, is the middle one not powered up? Is that it right there? Hang on. You see that thing right there? Is that it right there? Is that what I'm supposed to be matching up? Okay, and then match up the middle one. There you go. Okay, showing me the door is glowing doesn't help me in any way. Can I open it now? Is that how that works? Um, also, where are those doors located? Also, why are those still activatable? So that's where I go after this. Oh, there's that door. Lands in the snow. Can I open this door? Ah, it opens for me, I see. are just the biggest douchebag in the entire game. I don't even know how to get there, how to get back to that location, and you just do that. Just over here. Oh no, that leads down, is it? Is it up there? There was a second door that did the 
glowing thing. I can't get in there. Move back up. Forgot about that. There are these things shooting up there. I ran all the way here for no reason. It was really sad. Come on, this has to work. Here, you're right. Alright, we'll be back in a second. Okay, so I found a, a different doorway. And, uh, we followed it. That's all it does? Well, anyway, I think I found the place to put the bridge over. Yeah, I did, so. Okay. This is a rough episode, or well, I guess the rough last three episodes, as I have been recording for so long. I actually have been tired. Whew, alright. With that, I'm not tired. I'm past it. Finally. After a lot of running. All that just to open that stupid door. This is ridiculous. Slide on down. Almost face plant in the snow, which is not like a terrible idea. Oh, the Aurora Borealis. Nice. What the heck are you? What's the Pokemon's name? I forget his name. Uh, Kyogre. Kyogre, what are you doing? You don't belong up here. You're in the ocean. Won't ruffle your feathers. Yes, you will. Lighthouse in the very center. It all rests upon my shoulder. Do you know what else it does? Goodbye, my You know what else it means? It means finally. Finally. I can open this. Now, how close will we be this time? Because we came closer the last time. We'll be right in front of it. That's creepy. Um, Black Manta? The dude from Aquaman? Why do we have Pokemon and Aquaman here? Now, we need to go south and do the stuff. And then it's going to be a long night. And I forgot, I'm on the roof of the world, which means i got to go all the way down to there. I'm not going to... I'm not going to let you guys watch this, so I'll cut back. Alright guys, we're almost to the tower. Let's see from our map. This has been a long game. Please note that the game walkthrough only took a complete walkthrough like an hour and 40 minutes. And here I am, finishing in like five, well, yeah, five parts. Two of which I just had to learn how to freaking fly. Oh, hey, who's that guy? <laughs> Who's that old guy? 
that's uh, right there. But I gotta find this guy. Mm. Okay. But who are you? We follow the light beam into the giant spire in the middle of the map. possibly be over here. What could possibly be I think it's just the, <laughs> I think it's just the entrance to that thing voice back by the way. Uh. Please tell me I'm almost done. It's like almost suffering, but it's still a cool game. Creator Shrine. Oh. Oh, you're kidding me, right? It's the same tint that and Ow. My eyes. You drop your lantern, you need that. Fuck. Tell me I just came all this way to die. What the heck? This the person uh I know who you are, but I don't know your name. Yeah, Kara. You are oh it's my daughter. Something like that. So you're telling me I'm just gonna fight him randomly? Could you slow down, please? Oh man. I just feel like I just like get snuffed out and it's like that's the end of the game. Just come on, man. Please tell me that I beat this guy or at least lock him in a cage with me so we don't have to keep summoning champions. I don't think that's how this works. Um, just please get a happy ending. Yeah, I know. Okay. Stop talking to me. Yeah, I'm the hope and savior of the world and all this crap. You're dying. Let's go. We don't have time for this. Do you believe in me? Oh, that's so cool. I'm so glad I believed in by a ball of light. 
I can do this. Goodbye. I don't want to take down. I think this is getting the chain. Oh, that's nice. I have a glowing tattoo. Let's go with my new glowing arm. I'm sorry if I sound like skeptical or not impressed, but dude, it's been like two hours. Two plus hours of just straight up playing this one game trying to figure out all the puzzles in it. I am out of it. I'm tired. It's almost midnight because I've been recording for two hours. So I was like, huh, I'm just going to record one episode today. And then it was like I couldn't get out of that thing. I had to find the other thing and I couldn't get out of that thing. And now we're here. Because I was like, I'm getting this done today. Black Manta, how are you? Stop showing me that view. Am I supposed to dodge? Impressive. This isn't a glitch in recording, it's just a white screen. Oh, come on! That's how it ends? She just puts her hand out and touches him? All of that... All that effort, two hours... Of recording. Almost, anyway. Just so she can put her hand out and touch one finger. <sighs> At least I beat the game. I'm happy. Daedalic Entertainment? God, you guys are douchebags. I'm just kidding. It's a great game. It has its annoyances, but that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, that it's bad. They had this game in Korean. I'd love to play in Korean, that'd be great. Yeah, I liked it. <laughs> I mainly think me not knowing what the heck I was supposed to be doing after trying to find out how to fly for the first two episodes. <laughs> I think that, uh, you know, brought me down. Yannick Wiggers, what a name. But, uh... I skip this. E? Nope, doesn't work. Well, I'm happy that, you know, I finished it off. The only reason I'm not ending it is because I want to, uh, see if there's an end credit scene. Still a white screen. Man, I must be cleaning. And that's it. Alright. Thank you everyone for watching. 
This concludes the Air Memories of Old series. I will see you guys in the next one.